Today I spoke about uh, the ASCO presentations on gynecologic oncology. Um, uh, we reviewed a clinical trial on uterine carcinosarcoma that showed that paclitaxel and carboplatin is preferable over ifosamide and paclitaxel, which is uh, a new finding based on a phase three trial. Uh, we also discussed uh, two studies on platinum sensitive ovarian cancer relapse uh, one uh, comparing bevacizumab and niraparib versus niraparib alone, showing that the addition of bevacizumab to niraparib may have synergistic effects, and there was a significant prolongation of progression-free survival with a combination compared with niraparib alone. Uh, we also reviewed the SOLO3 trial that showed that olaparib uh, had better response rates compared to single-agent chemotherapy in platinum-sensitive ovarian cancer. Uh, we also reviewed uh, a European trial that looked at older patients uh, uh, who had uh, limitations in physical activity and compared three treatment uh, programs, one carboplatin and paclitaxel every three weeks versus uh, carboplatin and paclitaxel weekly versus carboplatin every three weeks and showed that the carboplatin single agent arm did worse and therefore that may not be the preferable regimen for the older patients as well. And uh, we also reviewed uh, a phase two trial of uh, 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 ribociclib and letrozol in ER positive metastatic recurrent endometrial and ovarian cancer where there was significant activity noted in the low-grade serous carcinomas of the ovary and in the grade one, grade two endometrial cancer patients.